Okay, this is the elevator lobby on the 43rd floor of the hotel. And if you come down this way, here's my room, 4319. Nice gold door. Nice entryway. This is kind of funny. Next to the door, there's a space for your card, hotel card. And if you take this out, it shuts off all the lights in the room. Everything shuts down. So if you put it back in, everything lights up. Air conditioning comes on. So that's kind of an interesting way to save electricity. Um, thankfully, they gave me two cards, though. So I can leave the air on while I'm gone. And then they have the buttons for Do Not Disturb and Make Up My Room. Anyway, so this is the entry. Pretty big for Chinese hotel room. When I looked online, a lot of them looked really small. But nice vanity, separate toilet room, and then this is kind of cool. The shower room has a big bath, and it has one of those rain uh, shower heads, but it also has a handheld one shower head. Um, and the whole room is a wet room, so the drain is down here along the bottom of the tub, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyway, the odd thing is, this is actually a big window. And the shade is on the outside of the room, of the shower room. So if somebody wanted to very easily go, hello, while you're showering. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It also has an electric, like everything here, a little electric uh, engine too. But anyway, or maybe if while you're showering you want to see the view. Um, but I thought that was kind of odd. And they give you lots of bottled water for free because you're not supposed to drink the tap water because apparently it has mercury in it. So we won't be drinking any tap water. Just one of those weird first world, third world things about Shanghai. Uh, but anyway, nice little sitting area. A little tea kettle. A nice workstation. The plugs are kind of odd, so I had to call downstairs. And uh, even though I brought a converter, it wasn't the right one, even though Radio Shack told me it was back in Ventura. Um, but thankfully I called down to the front desk and asked them where can I buy a converter and they uh, they just sent one up, said no need, we'll give you one to use, so that was nice. Anyway, this is where I've been working, which the best part about that is the view, of course, right outside the window. Just step up here, give you a full scan of this view all the way from the left. It's just buildings as far as you can see. It's pretty amazing. The window's dirty though, as I'm sure you can tell. I don't know how often they clean that. That's the whole view. It's pretty awesome. And then this, you can see all these people walking down here on this big street. That's Nanjing, Nanjing Road, which is a big pedestrian mall street. No cars allowed, thankfully, one of the few places. Uh, but they have those little tourist trains. You can see those going up and down the street. Anyway, not a bad room. Nice, big, comfortable bed. Some of the reviews I read of some other hotels said they had hard beds, so this one said it had good ones, thankfully. So it has a good bed. Nice little sitting area. Awesome view. Dirty windows. TV with lots of Chinese TV, although they do have CNN World and HBO, of all things. Not much on, though. And then a uh, nice little couch. So that's been home for a few days, and when I get to that other hotel, which is over there in that building with the hole in the top of it, on one of the top floors, I'll do the same thing from there. Bye-bye.